Okay, so in this lecture, we are going to go ahead and actually create our first app engine application and we are going to run it. So this will be extremely exciting. Okay, but first, in order to do that, we need to choose which IDE, which means integrated development environment, we, need, we are going to use. And basically, a integrated development environment is a piece of software that we use to actually develop our Python code in, okay? So throughout the course, I'll be using PyCharm simply because it's my personal preference. I frankly believe it's one of the best IDEs out there for Python development. It has built-in support for App Engine, which makes developing App Engine applications really nice and, and simple, and I just find it to be really productive. I highly encourage you to download the professional edition and give it the 30 day of free trial because the professional edition has this built in support for App Engine. The community edition is free, however, it lacks this support for App Engine applications. If you want, you can still use the com community edition, but wh when we're setting up projects, there, there will be a slight difference. However, don't worry because if you use any other IDE, you don't even have to use PyCharm, you can use whichever whichever IDE you want. So if you use the Community Edition or you use any other IDE, I will provide the files so that you can mimic the same steps that we're doing in the Professional Edition, okay? So don't worry about that, just go ahead and, and choose whichever IDE you want to choose. I highly encourage you to try the Professional Edition for 30 days. If you are serious about Python development and, and application development, PyCharm has a lot of really great programs for licensing. So there are programs for startups, for students and teachers, for education, for open source projects, so on and so forth. The, the normal license costs 95 euros and I understand the economy is what it is. So not all of you will be able to invest 95 euros in this, in this license. But like I said, there's a 30 day free trial, there's a free community edition, which I think is enough to, to, to do this course. And if you want, you can apply for any of these programs, which are, which are great. Now, just a side note, PyCharm needs Java to be installed on your computer to be able to run. Okay. So if you don't have it installed and you try running PyCharm, you will get the following error. Now, don't worry. What I recommend you to do is to hit more information, the button more information, and there you'll be taken to a page with more details about what you need to install. And there should be a link pointing you to the website which you can use to download Java. Okay. So go ahead and click that, click that link, install Java. And once you've installed Java, you should be able to run PyCharm. Okay. Having said that, let's go into our IDE and we are going to create our first app engine application. Okay. So in the professional edition, we can go ahead and create and click create new project. And here is where things get a little bit different between the professional and the community edition. In the community edition, you don't see the screen. So you don't have the option to create a Google app engine project. But like I said, don't worry in a second, I'll go over to how to open the files I provided in the download section so that you start in the exact same place we're going to start after creating our project with the professional edition. Okay. So just bear with me for two minutes. Okay. So for the people who have downloaded the professional edition, we can go ahead and cl click on Google app engine. And here we have to select where we want to save our project. So I'm going to go ahead and save it from my home directory. Remember the home directory is the current user's directory. So the user you, you use to use your computer and to log in, which is Michael in my case, I'm going to go from my home directory into projects, into app engine, and I'm going to create a new folder here called hello app engine. Okay, great. So I'm going to choose this folder and under more settings, you'll see that application ID will have been filled out by default by PyCharm. And this field here will probably be blank. And if it's blank, it throws an error saying, please select App Engine SDK directory and it will not allow us to create the project. So where is this App, uh, App Engine SDK? Well, if you have followed along in the previous video and, and installed it the same way I have done, it should be in your home directory, right? So this is my home directory and we can see the Google Cloud SDK folders here. Now, if you have installed it somewhere else, 
just please go to where you have installed it. So whichever directory you have installed it and find the Google Cloud SDK folder. Once you have found it, we're going to go into this folder and then into platform and choose Google App Engine. Okay. Once we choose it, this error should go away. Great. We are not going to enable third party library support. And so let's go ahead and create the project. And success, PyCharm has gone ahead and created the project for us. Now, for the users that haven't used the professional edition, so you've either downloaded the, the, the community edition or any other code editing software IDE, please go ahead and download the, the, file, the helloappengine.zip file and extract both files somewhere where you want to store your project. Okay, so once you have done that, just go ahead and this is for the people using the community edition go and click on open and navigate to wherever you have extracted the hello app engine folder so again in my case this would be projects app engine hello app engine so just go ahead and select this folder choose and open the folder up and basically we are in the exactly the same place as with creating the the application in the pycharm professional edition okay so what you see, what what you should see now is basically this is your project structure. You have two files, app.yaml and main.py. Okay. Now we will go over what both of these files are in the next lecture. But in the meantime, let's ju let's just go ahead and run our application. So to run our application, we're going to open up terminal again, and I'm going to make this a bit bigger. Okay. So the first thing we need to do is we need to navigate with our terminal into the directory where our project is located at. Okay. So PyCharm here is hinting us where the project is located. So it's basically saying from our home directory marked by this tilde sign, we need to go into the projects directory, then into app engine and then into hello app engine. Okay. So where is our terminal? Which directory is our terminal at? Mm -hmm. Well, this tilde sign marks that our t that our terminal is in our home directory. We can verify this by typing in the pwd command and effectively we see that we are in our users directory which is our home directory. By the way, Windows users, I will provide a link to a cheat sheet that translates Linux or Max commands into Windows commands. So if pwd is not the command for Windows, just go ahead and open up that link and find the equivalent command for Windows, okay? Anyway, so we need to know two things, right? We need to know where our terminal is and where we need to navigate to. So our terminal is at the home directory and we need to navigate to projects app engine, hello app engine, okay? So to change directory or to navigate, we need to type in the cd command, okay? Which means change directory. So we can go ahead and change directory into projects, app engine, hello app engine. Okay, so this is CD and then the route you need to take to navigate to your project folder. Okay, once we're here, I can type in a ls command which lists the files in this directory so I'm sure that I can see app.yaml and main.py in this directory. And here we see app.yaml and main.py exist in this folder, so I am sure I am in the right directory. Okay, great. Now comes the fun moment. We are going to run our application. So I'm going to make this window a little bit bigger. And to run our application, we simply type gcloud preview app run period. Okay, so again, that's gcloud preview app run period. What is this command doing? This part of the command is basically telling the SDK to run a application on our local computer. So on our personal computer, that's G gcloud preview app run. And then we need to pass in what application we want to run, right? So this is where the period comes in because the period is saying this directory. Okay. So we're essentially telling the command run our application that is located in this directory. So it goes ahead and runs the app.yaml and the main.py 
which is our application itself. It's the code of our application. So let's go ahead and hit this. And success! We have a running ap application, believe it or not, without writing a single line of code, as, at least not by us. I mean, PyCharm has set up two files, but as we saw, these files are really, really simple. They don't have much code in them. We will go over what these files do in the next lecture, but without writing a single line of code, with running one command, we have run our application successfully. So we can go ahead and copy the URL at which it says our application is running go to our browser, paste it in, and lo and behold, we see our application is running. So this is really, really neat. It was so easy to set up our application. This is really exciting. Next lecture, as I said, we will go over what both of these files do, and we will start coding. So I can't wait to get started.